Okay, it's almost mission time. It is mission time. Here we go. It's Lysithia's birthday first, though, so let's host a tea party and then we'll kill people. You like sweet stuff, right? So how about some berry blend? Did you call me? I did, and I also got you some Egg McMuffins. Ich also gotten sie some uh, English uh, muffins. I am grateful. You guys didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> Chat right now, it's just, what? That's uh, Dining Partners, the library's collection. Let's have a talk about books, Lysithia. They were drawn into the conversation. What if we had Mr. Full Moon do the tea? Just once, because he schliebes. <laughs> Reginald, get out of here. We've got stuff to do. Crest, ideal professor or reliable allies? Am I reliable allies? Oh, sh Mr. Full Moon's takeover of tea time. I don't have a moonbeam button. Close calls, the last battle, or the view from the bridge. How about the last battle? I see. They were drawn into the conversation. It's a nice tea time. Not great, but not schlecht. Ah, that tea was delicious. Invite me again sometime. See. Well, that's it. That's that was Moonbeam's tea time. That should only happen every once in a while. Why? I love crimson crayons. Why do we watch you? I don't know. I just don't. How about, how about something lavender -y? Um, what is it? Did I do something wrong? Yes, which is why I summoned you to tea. Oh, We're gonna force you to eat Egg McMuffins. To atone for your sins. Still too hot. Oh, it's too hot? Yeah. Sorry, okay. Uh, school days, our first meeting. Let's talk about the ideal, hmm, our first meeting. <laughs> They were drawn into the conversation. Good evening, everyone. My name is Reginald. I'm your tea time commentator. Yeah. First crushes, cute monks or hopes for your future. I feel like crushes and monks probably aren't aren't good. Let's look. Let's talk about our hopes. Oh, piss! They don't seem very interested in this topic. Perhaps you shouldn't have assumed that this recluse didn't like boys or girls. In that way. Uh, how about gifts, school days, and the opera? We didn't do school. We didn't do school days already, did we? School days? I thought we did. Wasn't that the first one? Let's have about gifts. <laughs> they were drawn into the conversation, bringing you back from the brink and earning a nice tea time, which is quite this nice. Was great. I don't mean that in the passive aggressive. Oh, it's nice. I mean, it was quite average. How about some uh, rose petal? How about fruit blend? I'm here, professor. You are, and you take up most of the screen. Sucks. Oh crap! Into yeah. the into the oh. unknown. Into the unknown. All right. Uh, let's talk. Huh? Shareable snacks, obviously. Obviously. Whoa. They were drawn into the conversation, blushing at the idea. The pure idea of snacks. Clearly, Claudia knows what is up. Uh -huh. Fodlin, classes, you seem different. Fold How about you seem different? Go with that. Oh no! Claudia took a hard left turn. No! Working hours, rules, or pa how about laughs? The conversation got lively. Fantastic, but not too fantastic. Another nice tea time. Thanks for the tea, but next time, let's stick to meat. How about uh, Southern fruit? Professor, I'm here. I wanted to take you up on your invitation. Uh, yes, six months. Thank you so much for the subscriptions. Five months streaks. Man, I'm seeing some amazing streaks of subs in here. You guys are awesome. You have my thanks. You have my teacup. I'd like it back. No, not that one, don't drink. Oh. What a lovely fragrance. I'm glad you like it. I love the, the quill. Uh, Iggy, yes. what are we talking about? You seem different. You do seem different, and I want to comment on it. Right. They were drawn into the conversation right off the bat. We are on our way to a perfect tea time. 
Yes? The courtyard couple, perfect recipes, or likable allies. Let's talk about our friends. <laughs> they were drawn further into the conversation. It's like you can see right into Ignatz's head. And lastly, uh, yes? about yourself, your ambitions, or shareable snacks. Tell me about yourself, Iggy. <laughs> hey, whoa, good God. This is absolutely unbelievable. I don't know what I can do, but I'm prepared to assume responsibility for my future. Look at it, he's so serious. Commend. Great job! They are having an engaging conversation! <laughs> Nigel, get my heart medication! It's too much! A perfect <laughs> tea time! Some people look smarter if they're wearing glasses. Not me, though. Aw, Iggy! You look like the guy in the Untitled Goose game. Isn't this nice? Oh man, I had, someone gave me a piece of art. I feel like I have to get it for you guys. Oh, I don't know, no, it's all the way upstairs. Someone gave me a piece of art that I would love to show you that was basically a picture of the goose and Iggy, uh, and it was great. Professor, I can't believe it. Ooh. Thank you for the delicious tea. I'd be happy to join you again whenever you like. Iggy's maturity is so great. It's Shamir's birthday! Are we taking Shamir to tea? Let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a ginger tea because you always seem like you have a sour stomach. No Egg McMuffin for Shamir. I don't think she would have eaten it anyway. Did she just burn herself? Okay, so a new get things that bother you. Yeah, tell me about the things that really piss you off. Ah, oh. oh, they don't seem very interested in this topic. I don't think this one's going to go quite well. Oh. Dreamy nights, a dinner invitation, or cats. None of these seem really relevant to Shamir. Let's go with cats. The conversation got lively. Since the people you were talking about weren't people after all, they were cats. Stretch! Oh. Things you know, no. Mighty weapons! Yes. They were drawn into the conversation. That was an easy, easy, easy thing. For a nice tea time with two impactful delicious. conversations, Shamir runs off to murder people. Good, good.